welcome to this edition of Investment Insights. Today, I have Robert Kavanaugh with me. Welcome, Rob. Hi, Tatiana. Many investors saw their retirement savings balances drop in March and April this year, but things are looking more positive now. What has been driving this? Following on from the sharp COVID-19 related sell-off we saw in March this year, markets have staged a very strong recovery, responding positively to central banks cutting interest rates, government stimulus packages, and a gradual reopening of economies. This positive trend carried on through July and August. However, we did see a bit of a pullback in September, driven by uncertainties stemming from the US election, a resurgence in COVID-19 related cases in the US and Europe. Despite the weak end to the third quarter, the funds posted strong returns, as you can see here on the screen. That's good to hear, Rob. But what are some of the things that will continue to impact the returns? The economic recovery continues, although growth may begin to slow. Our base case remains that global growth will not fully recover to pre-COVID-19 levels until late 2021 at the earliest, and 2020 growth is expected to be negative for the global economy. The rate of recovery across countries and sectors is likely to be uneven from here, and any positive news around improved treatments and vaccine development and deployment could help speed up this recovery. Other risks that we see in the pipeline are centred around political risks, and these could continue to be a source of volatility and downside risk. The US election in November could drive an increase in volatility, particularly if there's a delay in determining the winner. Tensions between the US and China are likely to remain elevated for the foreseeable future, regardless of who wins the US election. And uncertainty over the Brexit transition is also a point of concern as the December deadline approaches. The Reserve Bank of New Zealand might reduce cash rates further to a zero or even negative. What does this mean for our cash investments? Yes, that's right. The Reserve Bank in New Zealand signalled the possibility of taking the official cash rate negative and they will do this if they think the economy here needs a helping hand. This would be great news if you have a mortgage. However, it's not so great news if you're relying on interest in your bank account. For the cash option, it may mean a slight negative return, so it won't be a very attractive investment from a return standpoint. However, cash still has a role to play for those with short-term time horizons and those who need to use funds in the near term or don't want to take on too much risk. But if you do have funds invested in cash, it could be a great time to review your investment profile and to make sure this aligns with your needs. 